been known to help with stress, lower blood pressure, decrease heart disease risk. Hyperactivity can decrease that. Not to mention it may boost your intelligence, even improve your relationships. Give me some. I want this. Does it sound too good to be true, though? I'm talking about transcendental meditation. It's continuing to gain in popularity, so we decided to follow a guest who wanted to learn more about it. I have decided to try transcendental meditation for many reasons. You could say at the moment I'm pretty stressed out. I run my own online magazine. It's definitely very much a seven day a week job. So today, Ruby's gonna learn to meditate. Transcendental meditation, we've just experienced quieter and quieter levels of the mind. In 20 minutes of TM, cortisol levels drop 30 to 40%. Every time, anyone can do it. Transcendental meditation eliminates the buildup of stress and tension, reduces anxiety, reduces depression, and really, overall, just increases energy and creativity and focus. Transcendental meditation is always taught one-to-one, -one, individually, with a trained teacher. It's a private, personal thing. We're gonna meditate now, so just close your eyes and then start the mantra. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to access deep states of relaxation. So how does that feel? Ruby now joins us with, with Transcendental Meditation teacher Bob Roth. This is exciting. I will confess, um, we've been talking about this a lot. I want to ask you straight off the bat, Ruby, mm -hmm. since you started doing TM, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty amazing. <laughs> and it hasn't been that long? No, it's been like two and a half weeks. And I would say the big thing, Bob mentioned it there, is that I just feel like I've got more energy. And so more energy translates to more focus. I feel more clear in my thinking. My interpersonal relationships are better because I'm less reactive. Like all of the good stuff that we want, right? So totally. And it yeah. does sound, <laughs> Bob, too good to be true, but it's not. But it's not. No, and there's so much research now. I mean, Dr. Ashton knows there's over 300 studies published in peer-reviewed journals showing that during transcendental meditation, your body gains a state of rest in many regards deeper than the deepest part of deep sleep. And it wakes up the brain, and as I said in that, reduces cortisol levels by 30 to 40%. So it basically frees us up from stress so we can be who we, who we naturally are. I think it accesses a mechanism that we're all hardwired for to take profound rest at will deeper than sleep. I've been doing TM for almost a year and a half, and I felt immediately exactly the same things that Ruby was saying. More mental energy, more positivity, more clarity, mm -hmm. and I actually felt not just less stressed, but that I was more efficient. For those of us who have never tried it, it feels pretty exclusive. It feels like you're part of an exclusive club. We're on the outside looking in. That's what it feels like. Is that one of the big misconceptions? Yeah, this is I a mean, real the, difficult word thing? the word meditation, is like the word food. I mean, it doesn't mean any, it means everything and anything. And what science has identified now is there's three basic types of meditation. One that involves a technique that involves concentration or you're trying, like a yoga class, you're trying to clear your mind of thoughts. Very difficult thing to do. Second is mindfulness. We've all heard of mindfulness. That's more of an observational tool and that's a coping mechanism. In the middle of the day, you were asking, you take two minutes and you take some deep breaths and you feel a little more centered. Okay. Transcendental meditation, is not a mass meditation. It's taught one-to-one -one with a trained teacher. It's really now the gold standard of meditation. And it's not exclusive, it just takes time to learn it. We want everyone oh. to be trained in it. We don't want any... That's yeah. And we're, you know, this is important because Bob mentioned there are places across the country. We're going to have a list of those on our website. So if you're watching and you're interested, you want to learn how to do it, apparently they say it's not difficult. I'm planning, hopefully, at some yes. point to learn this. Maybe, maybe even sooner rather than later. I love the idea of using your mind to calm the anxiety. Uh, again, we'll have more resources on our website. Thank you both so very Thank much. Thank you very much.